Oh, hello YouTube, my name's B2000 Ro. Today we're doing probably one of my first ever Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends reviews from Hornby. This time it's on the today it's on the Hornby Spencer. As some people will know, many some Thomas models aren't as good and people don't hate like I mean, people don't like the Hornby Thomas and Friends franchise and say that it's rubbish, but however, I will say that some models, according to Daniel Manetra's review on the Hornby Spencer, that this is one of the best models made by Hornby. And I'm with Daniel Manetra on that one, so thumbs up. And not only that, I used to not like Hornby's Thomas and Friends electric trains and accessories, but now I do. Well, let's have a look at Spencer. Well, here's the locomotive. Hornby have done a very good job when they produced a Hornby Spencer. Because he's got the right sort of colouring. He has the blue-grey colour from... The original Thomas the Tank from season 7. He has a nameplate that says Spencer in yellow and red. And Hornby, the reason why Spencer might look similar to the Mallard is because Hornby have used tooling from, I think they used the Hornby Railroad Mallard. And it has the double chimney on top, you can see here. I got this for Christmas last year. I didn't use it though, this Spencer, because I've been trying to keep it in good condition. But one bad thing is that the body shell, it moves up and down. I don't know if you can tell. And I noticed Sam, Sam's Trains. I'll have to send a link to these channels below. Well... They, he had a problem with his loco-driven Hornby Henry model. I don't own it, but he says that the crank pin here, where my finger, where my thumb is, touching, had a problem if I zoom the camera in. That kept clicking. And causing Spencer's wheels to go all funny. I haven't got a tool to fix it back in. So what I have to use is I have my fingers. I need a tool like here. Like a hex shape to some sort so it can... This isn't really a household tool, but I was worried I might break Spencer, so I decided I'll keep him in, keep him in box until I'm ready to test him out again. So I did, and he's still here from Christmas, but I haven't used him, because if you remember that vlog, I'll have to send the link in the description below to my other video of Thomas and Friends. I got Christmas presents last year. I got two trains, I think. It was this one, the Hornby Spencer, 2012 edition, limited production, which I didn't think would discontinue, so I didn't buy it until last year. It's like it's expensive, £200, which I know is a lot for a locomotive, this scale. Like, if I compare it, here's a 176 scale car like a comet and this although this isn't really that big so anyways faceplate on spencer looks just like the original one from the original thomas the tank engine and friends but this isn't the only spencer i've got i've got the Thomas Wooden Railway one, and that was the first wooden train I got. 
from when I was small. And I know you users might think, P2000 wrote, why isn't there any more Thomas Wooden Railway layout videos? Well, because I change, I keep having obsession behaviors about, you know, which Thomas models are best for YouTube. So I try a huge variety of vid toys now. Since I got more characters like Bob the Builder and stuff. According to Shunting Steve, Daniel Monetra and these other users, the handrails on the, other, on the 2008 Spencer were silver, whereas these ones are black. I do still have the box for Spencer from Christmas last year. And if you're wondering what he's powered by, well, let me go get my Hornby Gordon right now. Excuse me. Um... Like, here's the Hornby Gordon. And he's low pat tender driven. Which is why the front or driving wheels are freewheeling. And the tender has a ring field motor in it. I don't know what that is, but it's something that what they use on Hornby high speed trains or. And the tender should feel heavier. And this one, Spencer, feels less heavier. And you can tell because it should be like freewheeling. Like, Gordon's tender doesn't freewheel. I'll put this Gordon back on the layout. This is the Thomas and Friends... <coughs> Pardon me? Layout that's been done up as best as possible, but we're still working on it. Anyways, I think Spencer was very, very good model. I would like to get other A4 Pacifics like him in the Hornby Railroad or Hornby Railways ranges. I would like to look for the Hornby Mallard, which I don't have. I don't have any Mallards. I know users might want to ask, might want to start suggesting to me what real life trains can I add to my railway, because if you can't tell if I zoom the camera in, I'll bring it over. That water tower says York, and I thought could I have engines that work from York, such as if you remember that my log else have to send descriptions or links, and. I wanted to have a I wanted to bring a Mallard train home from York as a souvenir, but they had no Hornby Mallards left, so I decided I'll have to try looking for some other loco instead. And the station, if I can zoom the camera back out, says Doncaster, and that's what Flying Scotsman and Mallard are from, if I remember correctly. Sorry, let me move James's creatures. Um, but, anyways, let me show you the box for Spencer. Sorry, we're in a bit of a muddle because I'm still getting into my new bedroom where I can probably make more videos and professional. And I might have a new Thomas layout in here, but this is the box. Spencer it says. Hornby locomotive, double O gauge electric locomotive, limited production to owing 1000. Age is three plus, but this Spencer's fragile. So if I would, if your parents, if you're watching this, if you have like ch ch kids that are like three or five or s six years old, 
I say don't buy your kids model trains like this unless and if you do buy them be sure to just let children watch them and make sure that you teach them how to look after them because these are pretty fragile and underneath where the brake pipes were I had to remove because they were pretty fragile and the drive or pony truck wheels have no flanges on which I think is supposed to give him more po less possibility of derailments because these ones don't move like on the Hornby Gordon if I go get my Gordon I get back if I turn them over see these don't move I'm not going to try it harder because it might break but Yeah, let me put him back. Get the get the butt out of here. Anyways, I'll probably give this Spencer a run. I don't have any coach. I don't have Hornby Spencer's coaches. Which I was going to get, but because of this Spencer was more expensive, it was like 200 and odd pounds on Amazon or eBay. If you haven't got one, I say you just get one. Because this is a rare train. It is a lot of money, but it's worth it. But be careful that if, you ro if you've noticed these making a clicking noise, be sure to find the tooling like this but make sure it's the right sort of size because I don't think this one fits the crank anyways and looking at the back of the box I know this might not be as interesting but it shows you all the different locomotives that you can buy it shows behind hiding is Thomas the tank engine Gordon the big blue engine James, who I do have, but is broken, and I've sent him to my grandma and granddad's house to be mended. I have Gordon and James's coaches, which are right here. I have Percy, who is right here next to Oliver. And I've looked on eBay, and the Hornby Oliver is actually pretty expensive. It's like 200 and odd pounds for, for a 14 double X, this colour with a face on so yeah they are expensive but possibly worth it and behind him is Toad now I've been wanting to get one like this I do have a few Hornby regular Toads but this one is pretty rare because it's got like a face on they did just re they just released a Backman Oliver and Toad but I don't like those because they're based off the new CGI Oliver and Toad from the new series of Thomas. I don't watch. But on my channel, the reason why I still use the Fisher Price Thomas tra trains is because I want them to look more like what the kids will expect or see. So I try a bit of both. Um. Anyways, um, I'll I'll make a video on that later. And I'll give the Spencer a run. Why? Now I don't know if my tracks like. Better make sure the. I need to just make sure the power supply. Yeah. But let me just flip Spencer the other way. And I'll get his tender. Sorry, excuse me, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. I haven't got a stand because I'm using my phone camera now. And I'm not using a tablet. Which is probably why it looks more brighter at night times. And the fact that it's 7, 720p quality. And not one or 480p. Hmm. 
And if you're new to this, this is how you couple a tender. See here, there's a connection. These pickups are what goes on the metal bit somewhere. And of course the tender can just easily sit on the rails. I, will, I might put a crew in Spencer, but I'll be his driver. And I've already showed him in a couple of videos, but I thought I'd do a review on this and a test run. He is very, very smooth, being a streamlined engine or locomotive. But, anyways, alright, Spencer. Full steam ahead. And to make it more interesting and busier, let me start Thomas tank engine. Up. One Spencer, you can go faster than this. You are close to beating Thomas in a race from one of our recent videos. Anyways, that was a good run for Spencer. The only thing I didn't like about this is how it had black wheels, and I thought that didn't make him look good. But now I think it's good. Not only is it the colouring, but also the nice, good shape. And also, the faceplate is actually removable on my model. Like here it is, the faceplate of Spencer that I wanted to make a clay copy of so I can, you know, reflect his moods. Like there, without the face, he looks like a regular Hornby A4. But if I can make copies of this, I can probably make a Thomas and Friends style mallard. Don't worry, Spencer. You're right. There you go. And don't worry, Spencer, I'll be sure to find your brothers, the A4 Pacific Mallards. And tomorrow, we're going to the Model Railway Show at... Scun 
I will bring some engines with us, and I'll have to go show you them right now. Hold on a minute. Well, here's my locomotives and rolling stock that are coming to Scumfort with us. First, it's Thomas and Bill from my very first ever Hornby train set I got from when I was a kid called the Thomas and Bill Electric Train Set. So if you haven't seen it, you'll have to go look it up. It has it, it comes with the Thomas locomotive from 2004 with the Annie and Clara Bell. It comes with the Bill, but mine's broken. I mean, I've had to remove the motor. I'll have to get a new motor, but sadly they're out of stock on Peter Spares. But I hope we get them back in stock soon. And I hope I find a Hornby Ben soon, because I've got both Beckman, Bill and Ben. And I think I think both Hornby and Beckman make the best Thomas Locos. But anyways, I don't want to hold let go of these because you know I want to hold on to them for good reasons. Like the number one I've had to print off because it fell off or got scratched off. Striping isn't good because it got, fell off and also I need to repaint it. So it's nice and neat as a boiler striping. And then here's Oliver, he's coming because he was one of my first oh, locomotives, I think he was my probably fifth locomotive, or fourth, but he's had problems in the past, like his body shell hasn't been, has been wobbly, which is probably, but I've had to stick it down with blue tack, so in case I need to maintain Oliver, but the funnel isn't actually Oliver's funnel, it was just something that we had to put on, it's just a like plastic cylinder. And the, now it seems to look more stranger on him. But I think I'll swap it with the 14 double X from Airfix. If I can find a body shell, maybe I'll probably put the funnel off that and then put it on here. To a funnel swap between a 14XX and this model. So, put in the comments what you should, what I think I should do. And my other third locomotive I got from Hornby was the Percy. I didn't get him in a train set, I got him separately. This one is built... In 2004, it says. I'm taking Percy with us, and these other two is a scratch built model of Rusty, a narrow gauge diesel shunter. I'm sorry if this faceplate's copyrighted, but I wanted to put a like perfect Rusty faceplate on. But what it is, is just an N scale locomotive or a double O scale loco but designed to win on this track, which I've just wired to a flatbed. And what we did was we built out a polystyrene sheet. I did it with my granddad's help. And it has a Kato tram chassis on it. I got this idea from some of the 009 scale modelers who do narrow gauge locos, and I wanted Thomas and Friends locomotives. And this is Scarloe from Backman Thomas and Friends narrow gauge. Same as Rusty, still double O scale locomotive, only this one is like a die cast body. But this one wasn't scratch built, this one was like a ready to run. Has so much good detail. The only thing I don't like is the CGI face that I don't like. But the rest of it looks good. And I would like to add some silver to the buffers. See if there's a way I can change his colour shade of red from that weird pinky colour to like bright red. Like this maybe to match the 
car here, the this Porsche, this red Porsche. And in case there isn't any 009 scale layout set, the model railway show, I'm going to have to put Scarlowy on this flatbed, along with Rusty, which hopefully will be big enough. There we go, that should look better. But if I ever get, do get my Hornby bill working again, I want to add the Hornby Ben to the rest of the train. So it off your tanker, so it off scrap and brake van. I want to find more of these brake vans to add to the back of the trains in case you know, we need to slow them down. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And this is B2000 Row, signing off.